you know, they say that you should not study in a private medical college and that you should, you should always go for government medical college. But what if you don't get a government medical college? What if you're a kind of person who prefers studying in a private medical college? Well, I'm here to give you my thoughts on this college that I'm studying, which is a private medical college, and I'm here alive, happy, right? <laughs> and life's good. So I'm not doomed, as, as these people say. So if you're considering a private medical college, and if at all you're considering this college, which is speak with us here in Kerala or Chapalam, well, I'm here to give you my thoughts on this college and share with you whatever I have learned over the course of five years being in this college. To answer the question, which is, should you join this college or not? Because I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys, and I thought I'd just compile everything I know and present you so that you can decide whether you want to join this medical college, private medical college, or not. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin this. What is up, guys? My name is Aditya Sai, and today's video, we will be going over the pros and cons of this college that I'm studying in, Pikadas Medical College, and help you decide whether this college is for you or not, right? So let's uh, jump straight into it. So before making this video, I asked a lot of people um, on Instagram, like, what are some things that, what are some pointers that you would look for before joining a college, right? What are the things that are must know before you join a college? And I've gotten a lot of response. This was a couple of weeks back. And, you know, I've gathered the information and I've tried, right? I've tried to answer these questions in my way possible, along with uh, trying to give a visual representation of, of, of the things that I, that I mentioned. So the important pointers were, you know, hospital, college, academics, um, you know, hostel. This, these are the kind of things that were uh, discussed. So we'll be going over that one by one. So let's start with hostel first. So coming to hostel, it is said that this is one of the best hostel in the whole of Kerala. There's a reason for it, <laughs> okay? The hostel is pretty good. And for, this, and for the same reason, it's quite expensive too. Coming in at 3.4 lakhs per annum, right? Yes, it is, it is expensive. But it is worth it in my in my personal opinion. Okay, so the, in hostel room there is three people will share one room, so three beds. There is an attached bathroom, right? And there is also this workstation kind of area where you could do whatever, <laughs> you know, you could hang your clothes or you can uh, use that space for something else. So there's like a workstation kind of area too. So hostel, I would say it gets the job done in a in a luxurious manner, if I may. Now the biggest highlight for me um, in regards to hostel is the cleanliness right so if you ever been in the hostel you would you would not notice that the, the place is exceptionally clean right and the housekeeping part of the hostel is top notch and you know they have done a really good job of trying to maintain the cleanliness and to maintain a good atmosphere so now coming to the facilities that are present in the hostel okay so let's talk about non-academics first so there's a gym okay there's a gym apparently <laughs> and I would, I would personally say that the gym is not up to the mark because I've, I've I go to this outside gym so comparing to the outside gym I would say the gym is not up to the standards but it gets the job done if, if you are trying to just push some weights or something so nextly there is the volleyball play area and there's also the badminton court and lastly there's a football ground where football and cricket is being played also indoor facilities it includes the table tennis table and also the carrot table so that's there if, some, <laughs> if that's something that interests you Coming to the academic facilities, there is obviously the reading room, which is AC, right, which is air conditioned. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's kind of like a highlight because everyone in hostel, they either prefer going to the library or they prefer going to the reading room. So if you like hostel, if you like AC, the reading room is a place for you. There's also the library, which is where I go and study. And that's, all, that's also a major highlight. Okay, so nextly coming to hostel life, you know, how's the hostel life? In one word, I would say it is fun, right? I think it's something that Everyone can expect from a hostel life that the things that we see in movies and a hostel life is clearly fun. I'll tell you something interesting. There's this this is friend of mine uh, who lives in Ottawa, which is like um, like ten minutes away from here, right? Just ten minutes away. And this person, you know, he had the option to become a day scholar, but yet, <laughs> but yet this guy <laughs> he decided to be in hostel. And the reason because hostel life is fun, right? So I guess that's that in a nutshell tells you how fun. Hostel is right. Irrespective of where you go, hostel life is fun, and this is not an exception, right? This is the same. The one question that I got was was about ragging, right? Is ragging prevalent here? Is ragging something that we should be concerned about? According to the latest NC guidelines, so what they have done is that they have made ragging, uh, what do I say, circumstantially um, difficult to carry out, 
<laughs> if that <laughs> if that makes sense so what they have done is that there is a different section for first year students there's a different entrance and entry point for first year students there's a di different timing for uh, for mess or for you know for food timings so in a nutshell you are completely isolated for the first 6 months of, of first year right? you are not you are not allowed to take part in sports not any activities nothing so the first 6 months you know ragging just won't happen and it can't happen in a, in a way so what i have noticed is that ragging is basically non trivial right there's of course this you know exchange of banter between <laughs> juniors and seniors but other than that you know i would i would not i would not say that you know ragging hardcore ragging uh, is prevalent and so that's a that's a tick for me and i guess there is nothing for you to be actually worried about so the next thing that i wanted to talk was about curfew you know what, what are the timings right and now this is exceptionally important for the girls and not so important for the guys for girls as of right now the timing is 7:30 okay this, this was not the case before uh, before it was 9 o'clock 9:30 sometimes even 10 o'clock uh, but recently <laughs> recently the timing has changed to 7:30 for for the girls and I, it's the same for the boys but you know you know boys can kind of extend it they usually break the rules but may i say it is as of right now it is kind of the same for boys and girls and you know 7:30 is that time where you have to get into hostel right nothing else you can do about it the curfew timings you know i would say that it is a bit strict but i guess it gets more lenient as you progress through the years right so that's about the curfew so now coming to some miscellaneous questions that have been asked is there a single room that's the first question so there is a single room availability i guess you have to pay an addition like 10000 or 5000 for getting this uh, single room so that's available um the other ac rooms also yes there are ac rooms not many uh, but <laughs> there are ac rooms then is there is there college wifi is there wifi available uh, there is a wifi available but it's so weak that you better not use it so <laughs> that's the reality of college wifi so next question was is college politics happening here and i would say that this being a private one college you know there's no there's no space right there's no uh, space for college politics to happen so not college politics in my in my opinion so that is all in all about hostel uh, from what i know and you know i would say it's a thumbs up right i would say it's a thumbs up for me hostel is quite good and you can't go wrong uh being in in this hostel so yeah now if if at all you have any other questions regarding hostels you know please let me know in the comments i'll just try to answer the individual questions um with the best of my regard so next let's come to hospital you know how is the hospital and how is the patient load and you know everything in regards to hospital so i would say this is one thing that really turns people off to this this college and the rumors i'm sure many of you guys have heard you know the patient load in this hospital is quite low and you know there's a truth to it right then there's also some things that i want to clarify regarding so let's uh, jump on to that so firstly let's talk about patient load so this is one thing um, you know the one one big downside to this college and the rumors regarding this are quite true right the patient load in this college is quite low and and the thing is it actually depends right as of right now there is insurance right there's thing of cast and uh, there was rsby before so when the whenever there is insurance the patient load is okay it's like it's moderate right you can you can manage but there was a time when all these insurance um, you know schemes were were stopped right they were cancelled and that is when patient load really really took a hit so during that time i would say that the patient load was low but whenever there is insurance which is even right now so me being a house surgeon you know i know how things work you know so with insurance patient load is good it's something that you can actually depend on the patient load is good without insurance not good with insurance good so that's a that's a reality so there is something that i really want to clarify here and that is that my mom she, uh, she was actually studying in kori kod medical college right government medical college kori kod and she used to say that uh, in spite of the fact that the patient load was humongous right in a government medical college and she didn't have the opportunity to learn because all the doctors were busy and you know they were just busy with their own lives you know because ip i mean op is like one or 500 every day so <laughs> it is really hard for students to study what is the point of having all these cases uh, that you see but you know you don't have someone to guide you through these cases so that is one difference here you know here the doctors are relatively okay relatively that's a key point they are relatively free so if at all uh, they are free they will be willing to teach you right so you can make the most of the patient load that is present so you get more bang for your buck because you have these faculties who can actually teach you stuff right 
So that's one thing, that's one caveat that I really need to emphasize. If you have good doctors who are free, who are willing to teach you with okay patient load, I would say it is, is much better than having a lot of patient load without anyone to teach you, without anyone to guide you. So that's a caveat that I need you to understand and something that you should keep in mind. Thinking about the hospital infrastructure, I would say you should come here and you should see it because it is, it's huge, okay? Uh, the hospital, I, like I said, I remember I told you that the cleanliness in, in a hostel was amazing. Likewise, the cleanliness in hospital is it's top notch. Okay, it's pristine. Okay, the environment is pristine. Um, the whole infrastructure is amazing. It's well built. You know, it's amazing to see. So infrastructure is, is fascinating and uh, that's a thumbs up from me. So now that, so now that we're on the topic of, you know, hospital uh, let's talk about the clinical subjects and you know how it relates to you as a student so firstly let's talk about medicine so in medicine the patient load is moderate and all the all the doctors they are quite busy so i i feel that it's entirely up to you right you have to take the initiative to actively search out for these doctors and you know you should go behind them and you should ask them sir can you teach me this can you teach you that if you are willing they will teach you if you're not willing they'll just be doing their own business so that is the dynamic which I have found in medicine. If you are willing to put in the work and if you are willing to learn, there is ample opportunity to learn. So that's about medicine. Nextly coming to surgery. In surgery, again, the doctors are amazing. The patient load is moderate and, um, and the teachers are actually willing to teach you. So if at all you have some enthusiasm and you show some interest, yes, you can make the most of surgery and you can actually learn. So surgery is a thumbs up. Nextly coming to OBG. So OBG is where things take rather a tumble. Uh, so the OBG load in this hospital is very low, okay? <laughs> I don't know how to say this. In my personal experience, I would say that, in my subjective experience, okay, in my subjective experience, I would say that um, it is low, right? It is, it is very low. And uh, the teachers are amazing. The faculty are amazing. Everything is amazing. Only that the patient load is low, right? If it, those patients will only come if there is insurance. If there is no insurance, they won't come. So in regards to OBG, I would say that um, I wish I wish more patients came here, you know, because we have amaz amazing faculties and everything is amazing, but the patient, the patients are not there. Um, you know, maybe because, you know, all these patients are going to government medical college, I don't know. So patient in here, OBG patient load is low. Okay, so that's a downside. So coming to ENT and Aftal, the patient load is low to moderate. You know, some days there's a lot of people, some days there are not a lot of people. And uh, the, the faculties are amazing. The faculties are good. Right, it's a thumbs up for me. Again, you should you should actually pursue them. You should talk to them. You should go behind them, and you can learn. So yeah, it's a it's a good it's a thumbs up for me. The only downside that I have found in regards to clinical subjects is the patients in OBG is low. That's all. Right, everything else is uh, is a thumbs up for me. So some miscellaneous questions in regards to hospital. Uh, you know, we as medical students we have free consultation. Right, we can just go to any doctor, uh, and we don't have to pay a dime. So no need to pay, you know, free checkup for all students. So that, that, that's one thing. So that is pretty much it about hospital, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if at all you have any specific questions, uh, please let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll try answering them there. The rest of the, rest of the <laughs> discussion about hospital, whether it's good or not, um, we'll, we'll have it in the comments, right? I'll answer your questions in the comments. So now that we're done with hospital, nextly let's talk about the medical college. So in medical college, I have grouped first year, second year, and, and to an extent third year topics right the academic pre-clinical part right is what we'll be discussing under the heading of college so firstly let's talk about the departments so in first year we have anatomy physiology biochemistry so in my i have heard and i would say that uh, you know the first year first year in this college is top notch okay it's really good i got distinction <laughs> okay. so first year in this college has to be one of the best in kerala okay one of the best okay you can't go wrong about first year, okay, the faculties are amazing. Um, the, you know, the academics are amazing, the way they teach, the notes, the spoon feeding at, at its best, you know. <laughs> you, have no, you have no choice but to study in first year. It's a really nice environment for you to study in first year. You know, all you do is study. <laughs> That's all you do in first year. Um, so first year, thumbs up. Okay, all the three subjects, first year and anatomy, so all the three subjects, thumbs up for me. So in second year, what happens is that, you know, we are not spoon fed as we were. Uh, in first year, okay, the teachers are a little more lenient. The teachers have their own, you know, they have their own jobs and uh, they have exposure to clinical side, right? You know, microbiology, there is, uh, they have to do lab work, 
pathology there's a lab work and so people are busy in their own regards so this pampering and uh, spoon feeding is not going to happen to an extent of course of course they'll teach you uh, but it is not as much as what you see in first year okay that was what i what i experienced so in second year you're kind of free you know so even if you study even if you don't study no one's going to really care you know so no one's just coming behind you and telling you you should study and you know it's important that you study if you fail and there's no one coming to say that okay no one's coming to save you in second year it's entirely up to you so they say that second year is the honeymoon period right of mbbs and there's a reason for that you know because you're free uh, so that's what i've seen in second year and the same happens in third year so coming to third year what do i say i don't know how to explain the exposure that i got in third year because a lot of it was just theory you know i couldn't see much patients and um we you know we were the covid batch in in third year so but as of right now i think it's way as of right now it is much much better they have classes they have clinical exposure and all that uh, so I, i don't think i'm the best person to comment on it i would say it's good from what i've seen but i've not experienced it so i don't i don't want to give my um, 100% opinion on third year i would say it's the, the faculties like i said are good and the teaching is good and all that's good but i don't exactly know how your third year is going to be because i've not experienced third year in a normal fashion so that is all in all about the departments now let's uh, let's come to the library so the library this is where i spend half my <laughs> half my half my life of mbbs you know i spent okay not half i would say i spent like one third of my life um, in in library okay i was especially in first year and second year i used to just i was a library guy man i i used to go to the library every single day and you know by the fact that i go to library you can understand that i would say library is a is a 9 out of 10 you know so there's the external library where you can bring your books there is all the internal library where you can borrow books and um, the library facility is amazing uh, it gets the job done uh, not a lot of people go to library <laughs> which is why i went you know, it's a serene calm peaceful environment the environment facilitates studying um, in any shape or form so library it's a thumbs up for me okay because i have a personal experience I, library is an emotion you know it's an emotion for me Uh, because i've spent countless hours in the library so so what do i say so it's a it's a double thumbs up from me uh, in regards to library is uh, additional facilities in ca- college the, these include demo rooms so this is where you know like 50 people can stay in a room and the faculty can teach a specific topic you know be it practical be it so that is about demo rooms so next topic that we're going to talk about is administration you know there was a specific question that i got you know what about the administration uh, is the administration good or is it bad are they student friendly or are they not student friendly okay so in a in in a sentence if i had to sum up what do i feel about administration i would say that administration is administration friendly <laughs> okay uh, so if our values align with their values they will accept it but if our values do not align with their values they will negate it okay that's in a nutshell so there is a lot i could praise about the administration and you know, they have done a wonderful job of conducting activities and conducting stuff stuff so college fest everything pakka you know everything is top notch everything is amazing uh, there's you know, there's a lot of praise but at the same time they are also strict right they also want to get their stuff done and you know if our values do not uh, align with their values they will not accept it so that's the downside so that is my that is my two cents about administration so nextly let's talk about classrooms okay what do i think about the classrooms i would say that without any doubt Okay, without any doubt, these classrooms in here in Pekedas are quite frankly one of the best. Okay, if not the best, one of the best, if not the best classroom, classrooms in whole of Kerala. Okay, these are really good. AC, amazing uh, to visualize, amazing. Everything is amazing. Okay, I just put a, a lot of visuals here so you can you can watch them. Um, the classrooms are double thumbs up. Okay, amazing. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Or right, you can see for yourself. So the class timings are from eight thirty. uh to 4:30 okay that is the class timings you know usual timings i guess i don't know how it is uh, different from any other place but sometimes there are some faculties who prefer uh, morning classes so they'll do it they'll do they'll make classes at 7:30 either so for the most so for the most part 8:30 to 4:30 but sometimes you can get 7:30 classes so two hour classes in the morning so that is about class timings so there is also dress code apparently because there's, there's uniform so from monday um to to thursday you have to wear the dress you know you have to wear the uniform and in friday saturday you have color dress so that's how it works so two days out of the six days you have color dress 
and the rest of the days you have uniform. Yeah, so that, so that's something that you should know about. You know, it's a private college thing, uniforms and all that. Yeah. Nextly, let's talk about uh, this campus, right? What is the overall vibe? You know, other places, other places uh, to hang out inside uh, inside the campus. So, firstly, there is the garden. So the garden is where you can just chill out. You can just sit down and you know enjoy your evenings, right, with your girlfriend or boyfriend. You know, I see a lot of couples there. Uh, that's where <laughs> that's where they come and they just sit down and relax. So it's a beautiful place to just sit and enjoy. So there is also the canteen which is inside the campus and uh, the canteen is you know it's it's good. I would say it is quite cheap as compared to outside food and the food is okay-ish. Okay, it's it's good. It's a good food. Okay, except for vegetarians it sucks, but for non-vegetarians it's amazing food. Okay, it's good food. You can't go wrong. There's like a whole Chinese section. There is alpha non-vegetarian section and all that. Um, I'm a vegetarian per se, so. But on a personal note, I would say the paneer butter masala and uh, gobi manchurian is is good. Right? It's quite tasty. Yeah. So that's about canteen. Um, it gets the job done. I would say, <laughs> right? I'm not really excited about food, so I'm not the best person to talk about canteen. But I would say it gets the job done, and it is a canteen. Uh, gets a gets a thumbs up for me. Now let's talk about college fest. So the college fest here, it's called Colopsia. Um, unfortunately, because of COVID, it has not been happening for like two, three years. But, you know, when I was in first year and when I was in second year, Colopsia had happened and it was a bang. Okay, it was amazing. It was a two day program and cultural fest, you know, arts fest. You know, college fest was one of the most memorable times in my first year and second year. So something, something you should actually look forward to. You know, college fest are, are amazing. It's a double thumbs up for me, you know, college fest. Are actually amazing yeah so that's our college fest also also there happens other fests such as sports fest um you know we have football we have cricket we have inter batch we have intra batch uh, there's a lot of stuff so depending on who are at the top right the college council people i would say that the college fest everything that happens is amazing right up to, up till now everything has been amazing so all the college fest all the uh, all the arts fest all the sports fest everything uh, it's a it's a double thumbs up for me so we talked about the places to hang out inside the campus. So what are the places outside the campus? So nearby there is two things that I want to highlight. Okay, for the boys, for the, for the people who play football, recently there has been a new, there's like a turf, right? There's a sevens. Yeah, I think it's a sevens football turf that is opened. So for the boys uh, outside, just outside campus, uh, there's a football turf uh, that has been recently opened. And oh my God, I wish it was there in the first year, man. Uh, so we could just play every day. So football turf just outside campus. That's a that's a triple thumbs up from me because, god damn it, you know, I wish um, I wish it had opened earlier. So there's a football turf. There's also the gym. This is where I go every day, religiously disciplined. Every single day I go. <laughs> okay, I try. You know, if there's one thing that I look forward to in my life, that is going to the gym. And we have a gym outside in one in Colum. I would say like one kilometer from campus. So there's a gym right outside uh, the hospital. So there's a gym. So these are two places that I would suggest uh, for, I mean, that I, that I am interested in. So coming to the food areas and, you know, places to hang out and have food, Attapalam is the nearest place, which is like a 10 minute drive from one angle. So one angle to Attapalam. Attapalam is where a lot of food places are there. A lot of amazing hotels and you can satiate your tongue and your appetite and your taste buds in any way or form. Uh, in Atapara, okay, it it's got it has it has gotten it it has gotten it all. So it is a good place to eat out. You can go to Atapara and find all the places to eat. While we are on the same topic of going out, there are also theaters uh, in Atapara and there are, there are also theaters in Shormur. So if you are uh, if you want to watch movies, you know, ten minute drive, okay, max ten to fifteen minute drive. Amazing theaters, okay. So that's a thumbs up, thumbs up for me. So any thoughts on what I feel? about you know studying in a private medical college and there's this notion that you know if you study in a private medical college you're doomed and you know it's you're not gonna make it in life but you know that's not that's not the case you know in, we have we have the student in six, 2016 batch uh, she she topped in every single year so first year second year third year fourth year final i mean every year okay every year she was university rank number one so was it because she studied in a uh, in a in a, in a, in a private medical college no <laughs> she she is the kind of person who, who could study literally anywhere and she would get a rank. So telling yourself and, and believing the notion that I will only succeed if I study in a private medical college is basically you shooting yourself in the foot. Okay, that's, that's completely not true. 
right you see me look at me okay i first year i got distinction second year i got distinction third year because of covid and everything that happened you know i'm here making youtube videos <laughs> look at me so you know if you truly think about it you know, if you really really think about it your know, life is like a single player game you know it is entirely it is entirely up to you where you want to take yourself we completely and utterly underestimate ourselves right in regards to being disciplined in, re in regards to you know our capability to succeed and at the same time we overestimate uh, the environments right the situations like right? the external uh, environments ability uh, to influence our lives okay so here is an important piece of advice that i would like to share that that i found you know that resonated with me so if you depend on the world or the external entities right to decide your life right you would just be like a feather just floating in the wind you know just taking and this is going where our life takes you so i believe that it is our inherent duty um, to to decide what we want for ourselves okay it is entirely up to us 80 percentage of or, or whatever happens in our lives is because of the decisions that we make okay it's not because of the situation that we are in of course it matters of course it matters of course the situation that it matters but don't let it dictate your life in a, in a way that you are completely dependent on that system so my point being that i really hope you you do get a government medical college but if at all you you found yourself in a position where your parents are like okay you have the opportunity to study in a private medical college don't be disheartened okay so if at all you are studying in a private medical college don't be disheartened okay so it's it's completely fine i i think you can't go wrong because ultimately i believe it's up to you uh, to decide where you want to take your life and uh, being in a private or a government really really doesn't matter so those are my ending thoughts i hope you guys uh, you know got an overview about this college and you know some motivation at the end work is why not so lastly i just want to say that this college has all the opportunities that you could ever ask for right uh, given given the fact that you are you are striving for something right so if you strive for something you know in regards to being a good doctor this college has everything you can become successful in this in this journey of becoming a doctor if if that is what you truly desire right if you if you want it you can get it and this college has all the opportunities for you to take advantage of so you can't go wrong with this this college So yeah man that's about it I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one peace